Welcome to day eight. So today's tasks, as always, go through yesterday's notes, just uh, review anything that didn't quite make sense yesterday, do any configuration tasks that you, you feel you really need to do some more of. Bear in mind though, this program will be reviewing everything that we've already done. More than one time we'll be doing it with the CRAM guides, if you have access to that, hands-on labs, practice questions, and also just going over the theory again. So there'll be lots of opportunities. Really, this program is divided into two sets of 15 days study for ICND1 and ICND2, and then 15 days of reviewing labs, exercises, and that sort of thing. So one of the new things that have landed in the CCNA syllabus is using IP version 6 with IP version 4. I say it's new, you only really needed a passing knowledge of the fact that tunneling existed and perhaps name a couple of types of tunneling IPv version 6 packets inside IP version 4. Now you just need a little bit more knowledge. In the book I do uh, cover some configuration tasks, however, I seriously doubt you'll be asked to configure anything in the exam. So why, why do we need tunneling? Make sure you read upon this. Configuring dual stack on your routers. Tunneling methods. Again, sorry, I've left. I thought I deleted this. Uh, ignore the um, next two points here and we're gonna be looking at uh, configuring tunneling. So if we come out of this, and uh, just have a quick look through what you need to be learning. List of subjects, which I've covered, IP version 6. Uh, these are the benefits, sorry. The syllabus requirement is describe the technical, technological requirements for running IP version 6 in conjunction with IP version 4. So whatever book you're reading, if it isn't mine, just make sure you're reading about IP version 4 and IP version 6, why we're doing it. Implementing the dual stack, which is running both protocols on your router, the configuration commands you need to use. I've added uh, DNS servers, although it isn't mentioned in the syllabus, I think it's important to mention that. Tunneling IP version, uh, version 6, datagrams across IP version 4. Make sure you review what you've learned with some questions. I've actually put some a lab challenge in as well, but it's just more for your a bit of confidence because as I said I don't think you'll be asked to actually configure it in the exam. So that's enough for today, sort of fairly easy day compared to some of the heavier days like OSPF and um, access list and that sort of thing so hopefully you'll find today a bit easier.